Welcome to Crafted Sweetly. In this video, I will show you how to add vinyl to a record with a spiral design and turn it into this really cool project. First, we have to measure the record um, and I'm using a 45 record. Um, you need the outer the, uh, diameter and then also how much space for the inside diameter because we'll need to leave that space clear. Um, I am using HTV vinyl, the heat transfer vinyl. So I just want to make sure that this is the correct size. I am using Inkscape to create the pattern. So we need the spiral design. And once you click on it and you pull out, you can see the design being created. Um, you, if you change the size, you need to make sure you hold down the control button so that the um, size remains the same in both directions as it initially was. To control the number of revolutions um, around the spiral, you can click on either end and you can go around to add more turns or you can just control them up here and control sort of how much space is left in the middle um, for where the paper portion is on the vinyl. And this adds the turns, the number of turns. So once you have the spiral to the correct size, then we're going to add the text. So I chose the text from the record that that particular record was for. Uh, copied the lyrics and pasted them into the document. And we're going to need to apply the text around that path. So you select both objects and then turn this, do the text, put on path. And you'll see that the text will just spiral around the pattern. We do need to remove the pattern, otherwise that will print as well. So in order to do that, we need to change the text portion of it to a path. So we're doing object to path, and then we can remove the background design and you're left with just the writing. Um, if you didn't turn the writing to a path, then um, once you remove the pattern, the spiral, it would just all become the, the original text. So once you have this, we need to save this file so we can import this into Cricut Design Space. And you, I'm saving it as an SVG file. So then we're going to go to this Cricut Design Space and um, we're uploading the image from where you saved it on your computer. And you'll see that once you upload it, the design is already um, ready for printing, for cutting out, I should say. Um, the background is removed and everything. So just save it and then here it is your pattern. And then we upload it. It takes a second to upload just because each individual letter is an image. So you'll see on your right hand side, every letter is a cut image. If we were to try and print this, I'm going to change the color on this just so you can see it a little better. Um, if you were to try and um, cut this, every letter would be lined up because they're not next to each other. Um, I've tried doing the attach so you can see everything's just next to each other. I tried doing the attach but it takes so long because it's trying to attach every single letter to the next one so the computer kind of freezes. Uh, so what you need to do is just select this and then weld instead which means that every single letter is going to be where it is and then in that order. So once you weld it, you'll see that the every single letter that was on the right hand side becomes one cut. So it's just one cut. It's no longer individual letters. So then we cut this design out um, using whatever foil you want. You need to make sure that the foil is shiny side down and then please don't forget to mirror your image. So as you can see, I've cut out my image um, and now there's lots of weeding to do. So you carefully remove everything out of there and then this is what we'll be applying. Once you have finished weeding, this is what you are left with. 
um, just the text in a spiral. So we're going to iron this on. I'm using the Cricut Easy Press Mini because I can kind of control that I'm not heating the record too much. I can control how much time I'm holding the iron in each particular spot. So just line it up properly to make sure that the outside portion is still clear. And you can press down a little bit to make sure that it stays in place. Just continue moving the iron around as you press the letters. Um, you don't want to hold it in one spot too long, otherwise it will warp the record. Um, so just keep checking to see if the letters are releasing from the plastic backing. Once you've pressed sufficiently, um, remove the plastic backing off and then all the letters remain on the record. And then here you have your project completed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, um, please comment below. Thanks so much and see you next time.